cure or prevent the dis-ease? In this episode, we are going to answer the question, how can I transform myself financially? So put on your seatbelt, you're going to be blown away with a very powerful concept about how you can have a meaningful transformation and not have to worry about money again because you can become financially independent. My name is Doug Andrew, and I have had a very unique background. Frankly, I've been very blessed in my life. I've been primarily viewed as a financial strategist, a retirement planning specialist for more than 45 years. But I've also trained and coached to over 50,000 entrepreneurs. But many of my clientele, I help them create what we call a meaningful transformation. So I'm going to uh, share in this episode a, a concept that I credit to a book I read many years ago called The Experience Economy. And uh, the authors of this book talk about the concept that people will generally pay far more for something they perceive has a higher value. Well, that seems like a no-brainer, right? Well, they use the example of coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker, but they explained that uh, coffee in its pure commodity form, coffee beans, is worth about two cents a cup at, at the time they wrote the book. When those coffee beans are made into coffee grounds and into a unique product in your house or whatever, a cup of coffee, it goes up about maybe 10 times in price to 20, 25 cents a cup. But when you, so, so we went from a commodity value up to a unique product, a cup of coffee. When that cup of coffee enters the convenience sector at a restaurant or a 7-Eleven, it goes up two to four times more. It goes up to 50 cents or a dollar a cup. But you know, Starbucks is the one that uh, sort of created the internet cafe, the, the stop between your house and the office where you could hang out with other like-minded people. And and uh, it is called a unique experience. And people are very loyal to the unique experience. They'll shell out uh, 4 or $5 even at a kiosk at an airport for an espresso-based uh, cup of coffee. And they walk away proud they did it, even if they had to wait in line for 10 or 15 minutes. Now, it's not just coffee. I often use the example of water. So let me tell you a, a story about what took place uh, back in 1999. I had my first Harley Davidson motorcycle and I had 27 other uh, friends who also had Harleys. We were very busy as business owners and entrepreneurs. And so we would take these Harley tours, but we would ship the Harley Davidsons to a city. That year we shipped them to Atlanta. And then we flew in and uh, we rode all the way down through Daytona and down to Miami. And then our spouses flew in. And we went on down to Key West and came back up through the Everglades and ended up in the uh, Disney theme parks uh, for three days in May. Now, they were the hottest May days on record. But uh, the first day, I remember stopping at an ice cart and shelling out $2.50 for a 20-ounce bottle of water. Now, I could have walked another 10 or 20 feet uh, to the drinking fountain between the men's and ladies' room and gotten a drink of water for free. But I shelled out $2.50. I did that three times during the day. At the end of the day, I had about a half of a bottle left and it was warm now. So I chucked it in the trash on the way out of the park. We went to the gas station and we all filled up our Harleys and we screamed highway robbery. <laughs> you won't believe this. They were uh, charging uh, $1.60 in 1999 for a gallon of premium uh, gasoline. Now, why were we screaming highway robbery? Well, back home in Utah, premium at that time was a buck thirty. So they thought, why, why are these people here taking advantage of us tourists? Then I did the math: a dollar uh, sixty uh, for gasoline. I had just shelled out two dollars and fifty cents for twenty ounces of water. In other words, if you do the math, I was shelling out, because uh, there's 128 ounces in a gallon, I was shelling out the equivalent of 16 bucks a gallon for water and throwing it away. If you would have told me uh, 25 years earlier uh, in 1974 that uh, at the turn of the century, people would pay m as much for a gallon of water as a gallon of gasoline, I would have laughed at you. But 10 times as much and throwing it away? Yeah, 
because in Disney World, uh, we were having a unique experience. So water, a penny uh, for eight ounces, two cents for a bottle. I mean, when you uh, put it into a unique product, a bottle of water, then at a, a wholesale place like Costco, and maybe you're pay uh, paying out 10, 15 cents for, for a bottle of water. But then when that uh, goes into a convenience at a restaurant or something like that, it goes up to a buck. But in Disney World, we're shelling out the equivalent of, uh, of 16 bucks a gallon. Now at $4 a bottle, it's, it's <laughs> over $24 for the gallon of water. Gasoline isn't that high. Why were we willing to do that? Because we were having a unique experience in Disney World. Price goes out the window. I'm going to share with you what people value even more than a unique experience. So before I share with you what people value the most, let's review. When whatever you do or provide to your client, your customer, your patient uh, is viewed as a commodity, if you're a dentist and people think that dentists are a dime a dozen, I'm just gonna go to the one closest to my house, See, you're operating at a commodity level. If you go one rung up on the ladder, you provide a unique product, uh, something that uh, most other people in your profession do not provide. Now, if you offer exceptional service or convenience, uh, you do what you say you're gonna do. Uh, you, you always say please and thank you. You finish what you start and you're always on time. You know that most entrepreneurs uh, many contractors don't even understand those four principles and so they wonder why they don't get referred by their customers. Well, that's as high as most people get is the exceptional service uh, if they figure that out. What I just shared with you is the one higher than that is providing a unique experience for your clients, customers, patients, whatever you do. Now, the highest level that you will have the highest compensation with the least competition is when you provide a meaningful transformation for your clients, your customers, your patients, whatever hat you're wearing. So let me uh, give you a little quiz and then I'm going to share with you how I have helped many people create a meaningful transformation financially and that's why I've been so blessed in my life. So. As a financial strategist, retirement planning specialist, I wanted to set myself apart from all of the other because I wanted to depart from the herd. I'm often viewed as a contrarian because I have unique insights into what works best for people's retirement instead of just following the herd, telling people to put money in IRAs and 401ks and the market and so forth. But I needed to provide a meaningful transformation to help people get uh, double or triple the net spendable income they would otherwise get. And so I learned that I needed to provide a meaningful transformation with a unique process. And I explained this in other episodes, but this unique process is what we call the true wealth transformer because I want a meaningful transformation. So for years, I have helped my clients go through this very predictable eight-step process where they come in and they, they have sort of an enlightenment experience. They get educated, they have some ahas, epiphanies, and then we go through their true wealth discovery. Where are they at? Where are they wanting to go? And then I show them uh, success formulas and we arrive at a final action blueprint. And then every year we would meet and I would take them through this very predictable transformation. And at the end of uh, the first First year or five years, people would go, whoa, Doug, we would never go to anybody else because you provide something that uh, nobody else has ever provided for us. We think clearer when we're with you uh, about our future than anybody else we ever meet with. So see, I began to focus on creating a meaningful transformation. And the biggest thing I found is that people were not at ease financially with their physical health, maybe spiritually or with their family relationships. And so I wanted them to be at ease because when you're not at ease physically, we call that dis-ease. Well, a lot of people were not at ease financially. And so I created a meaningful transformation by curing the dis-ease where they knew they would not outlive their money. They would be immune from taxes, inflation, and market volatility. So I am going to share with you how you can understand how to do that and cure that or disease or prevent it in the first place. So I've authored 11 books thus far. 
and my favorite, my most recent, which is usually my favorite, is called The Laser Fund. And in this book, I put over 45 years of the wisdom I've gained helping people cure or prevent the financial dis-ease and create a meaningful transformation in their life. In here, I disclose the four financial vehicles that are my favorite, but my absolute favorite you can't put all your money into it is what I call the laser fund. So this is actually two books in one and I want to gift you a free copy. This is 200 pages containing 14 chapters with all kinds of charts and graphs and explanations, more the left brain approach. But if you learn more by stories, you flip it over and you read this side. This is about 100 pages, 12 chapters that contain 62 actual client stories and examples. And if you want to use your whole brain, the right and left brain, you read both. I would love to send you a copy of this. I'll pay for the book. You just pay $5.95 shipping and handling. You also have options to be able to get an audio version or a digital version. Just go to laserfund.com, laserfund.com and I will send one out to you and I want to create a meaningful transformation for you.